What is Newton's third law of motion? Take a few minutes and talk about this with the person sitting next to you. Newton's third law of motion is, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. It can be summed up in two words, action, reaction. In this lab, you'll see Newton's third law of motion in action. In this lab, we'll be investigating Newton's third law of motion by doing a balloon rocket lab. In this lab, you will need a balloon, a roll of masking tape, some string, a straw, and a meter stick. The first thing you want to do is put the string into the straw so that the straw is attached to the string. I'm then going to have my lovely assistant hold one end of the string while the other end of the string is tied to a concrete object on the other side of the room. Okay. The next thing that you want to do is attach the balloon to the straw. You want to lightly, you don't want to tape, tape it tight, but you do want to tape it enough so that you can still blow up the balloon and the balloon will move across the straw. Okay? So now that the balloon is taped to the straw, I'm going to blow it up. And I'm going to blow it up nice and full for my first experiment. Okay? The first experiment I'm going to do is with the large balloon. Let me get this extra tape off. The tape's going to burn. Okay. So if your balloon happens to come off the straw, you can easily fix it. After it's blown up, you can position the straw on the balloon and just put a piece of tape across the balloon like this. Okay. Now, on your paper, it says you're going to do this with a small balloon and a large balloon. The small balloon is merely the same balloon, just blown up half the size. So I'm going to show you this with the large balloon, and then you're going to repeat it with a large balloon and a small balloon. And remember, your small balloon is blown up half the size as the large one. Okay? So my lovely assistant is going to hold the string tight. Get back up this way. All right, the string is going to be held tight, and you want the string to be held tight. You are going to let the balloon go. I'm going to put another piece of tape on just to make sure it does stay attached to the straw. As I let the balloon go, we can watch and see what happens across the string. Now that the balloon has flown across the string, I'm going to use my meter stick and measure the distance that it has traveled. So you're going to use your meter stick and measure in meters how far it travels. So you can do one and then mark a place, two, marketplace and you want to measure the distance all the way from the starting point to the ending point. Now since this is an experiment you do want to do it multiple times. This was done with the large balloon. You'll want to repeat it two more times using, using the large balloon and then three times using the small balloon. Just blow it up halfway. This will help you investigate Newton's third law of motion. Complete this experiment three times with the large balloon or fully inflated. You can pause the video to give yourself time to test the balloon and record your trials. Measure the distance the balloon travels after each trial and record your measurements on your paper. Remember, you want your distance to be measured in centimeters. After completing the experiment with the large balloon three times, you need to continue this time with the small balloon. Inflate the balloon halfway so it's half the size of the large one and continue testing your trials. Make sure you measure the distance after each time the balloon travels. Remember to record your distance in centimeters. Which balloon traveled further, the large one or the small one? Why do you think that is? Answer your question on your paper in a complete sentence. Using Newton's third law of motion, explain why the balloon traveled further and faster than the other one. What was the action that caused the balloon to move? What happened because of the action? 